a couple shooters that I hit you on the block. In the generator, but I hit you with a mop. Better watch your friends, they quit the turn. Yo guys, it is Simi here and today we are back with more best build videos and we're going to be prioritizing the center back defender builds. So last video I done a CDM best build. Yeah, a lot of people said they found it useful. So today we're gonna to be doing a center back build and I'll be showing you how to basically make the most OP Sergio Ramos Van Dyke-esque center backs. So let's get into it. I'm gonna be making two different variants. One's going to be the most OP centre back build that you can play just when you're playing pro clubs. But for people who want to do VPG and 11 versus 11, I'm going to make one to your actual position. So if you want to watch that, skip to about halfway through. So let's get into it first. We're going to start off with the height and the weight. So we want to try and balance it right. You're a centre back, you want to be tall. I can't think of many short centre backs here, the best in the world. Like if you look at people like Sergio Ramos, they're six foot. You look at Van Dyke, beast, Calabale, beast, all huge, all centre backs need to be big. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, so we're starting off with the most OP, so we're going to go to six foot. And we want we want him to be quite strong, so you need a bit of strength, you know. We're going to go to about 178 pounds, so pretty much on the line, try and get it on the line, that's perfect. Let's get into the actual traits so this is the height you want to be you can look at the stats right now 66 pace 68 shooting we don't want to focus on shooting 76 passing 80 physical 84 defending 69 dribble. all right we're going to compare it to some of the best defender cards on fifa 20 right now so if we look at sergio ramos's card on fifa 20 he has 72 pace 68 shooting 74 dribbling 87 defending, 85 physical, and 75 passing. So we want to focus on the defending and the physicality. And obviously you want a bit of pace. We're going to start off by making our character a right back. If you're using this just to play pro clubs casually and not VPG doing 11-11, then this is what you want to do. And you see our stats obviously change from going from right back to centre back. It's a big difference. Yeah. So right back. Let's go into traits. All right, stamina. Of course, you need stamina. Stamina is key. We're gonna increase stamina. We need jumping, lots of jumping. Strength as well. Stamina and strength. So right now we've got 94 stamina. It might be a bit too much. We're gonna increase all of the jumping and strength. So now we've got 85 strength. We've got good physicality, strong defender. That's what we want. Of course, you wanna increase all of the defending. And sliding tackles. Okay, let's just look at the defending stats right now. 89 sliding tackle, that's crazy. It's 100%. 85 stand tackle. So no one's really going to get past you. Alright, we want agility and balance. Lots of balance. Let's add all the agility. Alright, let's just have a look at what our rating is right now. So right now we're 86 rated centre back, six foot, 176 pounds. It's looking pretty solid right now. We want to go and apply pace. Let's get rid of all the pace. Put all the pace. So you're gonna have 85 sprint speed if you're this high and 72 acceleration, which is good, you're fast. Passing. We do want I would say we want long pass, we want good short pass as well. So I would increase a bit like we don't really need shooting, but what I was gonna say is to do heading accuracy, which is already quite accurate, but to increase that. Now we're at 100% with 85. Pretty sure that is all the traits we need to use in all the right positions. Nothing else in dribbling we really need. Passing, you could add a bit more passing. If you don't want heading accuracy, then you can take that off and add some more passing somewhere. But it's up to you. But yeah, I think that's it. Those will be the traits for the most OP Sergio Ramos on Pro Clubs. All right, let's look at his overall rating now. 87 rated. So I think that's what you're going to max out at. 87 rating. If you use all your skill points. Have a look at the stats now compared to Ramos. Ramos has 85 physical. We have 86 physical. 
Ramos has 74 dribbling, so we've got better dribbling even though we don't really need dribbling. 87 defending, we've got 88 defending. 84 pace, Ramos has 72 pace. And even the shooting's way better. So realistically, I don't know why we're not 89 rated, but that is the most OP centre back card for you. So yeah. Now we're gonna look at an actual centre back build for those who want to do VPG. We're gonna make it centre back, but we're gonna make our player a bit shorter. So we wanna be five foot ten. Otherwise, you will have no sprint speed. When I say no sprint speed, you will be so stiff and so slow. And you also want to be on the line. That's the five foot ten we want. So centre back. Oh, all right. So as we can see, the pace isn't horrendous, it's pretty good, it's 77. Dribbling is rubbish, but you, we're not expecting to have good dribbling. Physical is 83, and defending is 88, and your actual centre back. So, that's where you want to put the height as 169 pounds. You can increase it a bit more, but it won't really do much if you increase it. And yeah, pretty much all the traits will be the same for the right back card. So as you can see, I leave it all like this. Keep keep the pace. You can alter some of these if you want to alter them, but I want to pretty much leave it how it is. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so that's our two builds. We've got the right back and the centre back. So you can see the comparison between the two. With the centre back, I don't know, I'm not quite sure why, but with the centre back, you're a lot weaker than if you're a right back, which doesn't really make sense. But as you can see, 83 physical, 86 physical for the right back. Centre back has 88 defending. They both have the same defending, but the centre back has a bit more defending. Dribbling, the right back has a lot more dribbling. But we don't really need dribbling as a centre back. And pace, the right back has a lot more pace. So defending wise, being a centre back actually makes you a bit better of a defender, but not much. Tiny, it's not worth it at all, and that's why if you're playing VPG, you have to have a centre back card. So that will be the best centre back for you to have. And you can increase your height to six foot, but if you increase your height to six foot, your pace can be like 72. So I don't know if it's worth it. You need a little bit of pace if you're a centre back, otherwise, you're gonna have meta strikers coming up against you who are five foot four with 97 pace, and there's nothing you can do. There you have it. That is your centre back and right back, your variation of the two. VPG and normal kickoff. I hope you found this useful. Um, make sure to go check out my CDM best build as well. And if you found this useful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if there's any other videos you want to see, maybe like a goalkeeper one or other left wingers, right wings, right forwards, strikers, cams, I'll happily do it. I think I might do a cam one next. So let me know. Yeah, it's been Timmy. Make sure to hit the big subscribe button, please. We just hit 500 subscribers, so I'm very thankful. Tease me, tease me, tease me, tease me, baby. 2020, yeah, my vision, 2020 now. King of Melody, she part of me that I'm your regular. Slamming on these beats like I'm a wrestler. Look at that bigger picture, don't get it mixed up. Whilst you making moves, you might not arguing on Twitter. Looking at them, you can tell they ain't be one, no witness. I ain't got no time, I'm just trying to.